according to the Ministry of Relief, Disaster Preparedness and Refugees. On the night of 30th July, the Bugisu and Sebei regions received heavy rains that caused some rivers to burst their banks. This led to flooding and landslides in over six districts that left scores of people dead, thousands displaced and property destroyed. According to the ministry, six districts and one city of Mbale, Mbale City, Kapcholwa, Bulambuli, Namisindwa, Sironko and Manafwa were among the most affected. The Elgon region is prone to a range of disasters uh, that, f uh, that fall in three categories. The upper zone experiencing landslide, mass wasting of develop, um, development of cracks, hailstorms, these areas were affected by the twin disasters of flooding and landslides that hit the Mount Elgon region over the weekend. Due to these disasters, 29 people died, 500 were injured, 800 homes were destroyed, 600 animals died, 500 acres of crops were destroyed, 7 schools, 14 bridges and 3 universities were also destroyed in addition to 15 cars and three industries. In response to these disasters, the office of the Prime Minister has today dispatched relief items to Mbale and Kapchola to people that were affected. I think the chief coordinator will be the minister for general duties. The minister in charge of disaster preparedness will continue coordinating with her in her docket. We are going to provide a number of uh, things whether it's PPEs, whether it's kits, uh, whether it's on uh, wash equipments, whether it's on health equipment. The first need, as we speak now, which is about life-saving, because we are talking life-saving, is to make sure that the people who are being evacuated, who are being displaced, have food, have the basics of life. The relief contains 90 metric tons of food, as well as 150 taplins. We shall be working with the city authorities and the district authorities of Mbale to also identify a place where we can maybe put those people temporarily, not permanently, so that we can, uh, with the time, we can get where they can be resettled. In addition, government is going to give each family that lost a person 5 million shillings to cater for burial arrangements. Already we have submitted a, a, a list and the, the contacts of the relatives of those people and money is being mobilized to send to those bereaved families uh, to, 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 to ensure uh, that it helps them in the barrier space. Brigadier General James Chinalwa, who is heading the response in the region, has also revealed that efforts to retrieve cars and any other bodies still submerged in water is still ongoing. When we used our drone, which flew along the river, it flew down and also up. But we are only restricted by weather. We are going to do it again today. We didn't see bodies on the waters. And maybe if there's anyone stuck, we are going to do the aerial survey even today. But Chinalwa is worried that the lack of funds might hinder the ongoing response efforts. The ministries of Works and Health have also been enlisted to restart the provision of health services as well as restoring the infrastructure destroyed more especially in Mbali. It's quite unfortunate, but we are trying our best to make sure that uh, the roads are safe. All the major roads within Mbali are safe. We have opened up. The water levels are still high, so we cannot do major works, but they are safe. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight.